Hi, I just want to take a few minutes to talk to you about digital certificates and digital credentials, which are often referred to as badges, which I think is not quite the same. But like a lot of these things that are emerging, often we don't have strict definitions for a lot of them. So, OK, so why do we need this sort of digital certification? Well, one of the things a lot of people say is because the growing popularity of short courses, which means that people have a lot of these certificates. Uh, these short courses can be what are called micro credentials. In other words, there's a serious uh, assessment and credential given to it. And a lot of them are skills based. These are the type of things they want to show off to employers or other colleges if they're applying to get onto a particular program. But these employers and colleges, of course, need proof. Uh, fairly solid proof of what they're getting. And if there is, um, if if they're getting more and more students coming to with a lot of small qualifications, they may prefer them in a digital format. Now, this is also true of major awards as well. Um, and I suppose that the communication is moving to total electronic. So having an electronic version, even a, a lot of us will just take a snapshot of our certificates and provide them uh, to an employer or to a college. Uh, so they might appear on online CVs or resumes. They might appear on websites or places like LinkedIn. This is sort of fair. So having them in digital format is useful. Now, a digital certificate as opposed to a digital credential, well, it's really just an image of a certificate. Now, there's no real, other than that image, there's nothing more to it, no associated data, okay? And these can be automatically generated from a learning management system. Uh, in other words, when the system knows that you've completed the course, got the required grades, it can automatically generate one with your name on it, a relevant date, that type of thing. Now, a thing that they may put on it is they may put a unique code on it, which is linked, which can be used to verify that you completed satisfactorily that course. So an, a potential employer or college can use that code to check back with the college to say, is this true? Did this person get this certificate from you? Did they complete this course? Digital credentials, on the other hand, are a little bit more than digital certificate. And as I say, some are called badges. It's a record of achievement. OK. It may have an associated image. OK, maybe like a certificate or maybe like a little badge. OK, and but it can be verified as authentic there. In other words, there is a code there that can be used to go back. It's a bit similar to the certificate, but that may have to be done manually. There's potential in this way to do it automatically. Um, <clears throat> or it should be the, the it should be verified as authentic automatically. Now, it can also contain further detailed granular information about the certificate. What was the nature of the course? What were the learning outcomes? What was the achievement within the course? How did they, the learner perform? And maybe even contain actual artifacts, images, drawings, essays or whatever that were created by the holder in gaining that credential. The technology. So what's the technology that's required to implement and make use of digital credentials? Well, we need to be able to issue these credentials to students. OK, now the student needs to be able to take away that credential. OK, and hold it themselves. The institution may disappear. OK, they also need to be able to display it. So there are hosting services available. Um, these are often called hosting backpacks as well. So you can put the credential into your backpack. Um, that can be allowed within the backpack, within the hosting. Uh, the learner, the owner of the credential can create displays of various credentials and maybe different displays for different employers or different colleges. And these can be displayed Links for these can be displayed in their CV or in LinkedIn. So they can say, I got the following certificate. Here's where you'll find further details. Um, and then, of course, once they're displayed, they, they can be evaluated 
by a college or an employer. Now, I have to say, in terms of the development of technology, it's this last step, the evalu evaluation and verification, that's not as fully developed as it could be. It's still quite difficult for employers or colleges to sift through a lot of micro-credentials, a lot of digital credentials that are presented to them. But because the data is all there, it's reasonable to assume that good software will eventually emerge that will allow an employer or a college not only to scan and maybe get a dashboard of all the uh, all the digital credentials and the skills were embedded in them, but also be able to match them with positions uh, to see how well they match the competency requirements for a job or uh, for entry into a particular course. Thank you for watching.